Are we live? I guess we'll know in a minute. You are live. The internet can totally see you now. What a load of it. I guess sometimes the stream keys just go bad of their own accord, but at any rate, I think we are live now, and you can certainly let me know if we are. It has been a minute since we've done TNL, and this is kind of a lot of the reason why we've encountered nothing but trouble streaming on YouTube. It says we're live. I don't know. I got nothing on the on the link to it, but yeah, the link is completely dead. Yet I can see some of you guys on the chat here. There's just no chat visible on the screen. Jake Wheelie is here. The Atari Creep is here. I mean, I guess we'll pop the chat out and paste it in here, but I'll be dead gummed if I know what's going on with YouTube today. And everybody's, you know, throwing, oh, it's this and it's that, and oh, there's no problem. And I'm glad nobody else is having a problem, but it ain't working for me. Okay, there we go. Now we got chat on the screen unbelievable i mean every time we stream on youtube the entire thing takes a dump there is never a stream that works a hundred percent i don't know it's all in how you roll with the punches you know you're gonna have problems streaming and if you can bounce with them and get it back online great you're a hero but does it ever work it just doesn't so if any of you wonder why i haven't streamed in a long time it's high maintenance man at least on my end it is. And I'm glad all of you are here because we got a great show planned today. So let's try to make the most of this. We've got the Intellivision Flashback Classic Game Console here. And why? Because we're in the midst of hopefully seeing an Amico this year. I mean, with so much stuff going on in the world, it's hard to tell what's going to happen with distribution on those uh, systems. But... That just gives us more time to prepare, I guess. You know, we were Atari kids growing up, most of us. I know I was. Didn't play much in television until the 90s. I just never saw one. Didn't know anybody that had one. Jake says, YouTube live streams seem to freeze often. We haven't had that problem so much as we've just had, they've had issues with coding, with uh, processing after the fact, adding in sound issues that are on their end through that, you know, defragmentation, just craziness that is totally not on our end. So it's just, I don't know. Hopefully we got it right now, but you know, it'll be something else next week. But my commitment to you guys is to keep going because we have so much fun here. You just know we, we do more uploads than streams. But again, this was something we had scheduled. Pure Alpha says, hi, welcome Pure Alpha. We've had people say, listen, we want to see this thing streamed. You saw me pick it up in one of my uh, pickup blogs. We talked with Tommy Tellerico. You know, any and all of the games on this machine we could see as future reimaginings or just classic downloads, you know, digital sold stuff on the Amico when it comes out. So let's see what we have here. And, you know, the first thing that caught my eye was Body Slam Wrestling. Atari Creep says, I have one buddy whose brother had an Intellivision. That's the only one I saw. Yeah, I, I only saw one in the 90s when I started collecting heavily and came up on one. Smash JT is here. Welcome, Jeff. Great to see you here, dude. See, this is what I can't get away from. I love streaming, and I love seeing you guys. Manny's here. Dan's in the house. Man, we have so much fun here on the show. No matter how many technical difficulties we have, I'm a glutton for punishment. I'm coming back for more. And right now, we're going to be playing some Body Slam World Wrestling. I didn't mean to hit that. Boy, this thing's weird. Okay, now enter. I believe I hit enter. No, you got to hit the side button. Would you look at this right now? Super Pro Wrestling. It's even it's giving itself a different name. Appreciate you guys hanging in there while we got the stream straightened out. We're, we're going to have a good night tonight. Smash, yeah, we're kind of batting down the hatches here. We're kind of held up in the 
in the house here but uh you know we're doing our part staying home and i hope everybody else is too i know you were holed up in uh, palm springs i've always wanted to visit palm springs uh <clears throat> and you eat the purple guy yeah it's definitely some pro wrestling overtones here <clears throat> but yeah it's just it's a weird time we're in right now and i guess playing games is one way to cope with it and still stay in touch with everybody and let's start with one-on-one -on -one. i don't know about no tag team yet so you have to have both controllers plugged in. One for human, and then we're going to hit two for computer. Now, I am very much a beginner, so I'm going to be a beginner, and he will be two. Now, here's where it gets fun. Look at these wrestlers right now. I want you to get ready for, some, for a roster like you've never seen before. Dr. Pain, the Sheik of Slam. Stuck in Palm Springs for a bit. Yeah, I imagine there's definitely worse places to be. I was I was wanting to plan a trip out there very soon. Now I don't know what's going to happen. Did you get home? Are you back home yet? That's what I'd be interested to know. Beach Bum Barney wants to know too. Beach Bum Barney? Baron Von Thud. I, I shudder. Look at Mr. Ugly. He's so ugly he has a trash bag over his head. I think Mr. Ugly, but we can't we can't choose too quickly. You're back home. Good deal. Home is where the heart is. You know, I mean, speaking of places, I don't mind being holed up. God, I could stay in here forever. I mean, this is a place where a boy can remain a virgin for an entire lifetime. Nothing but just nerd nerdisms all around you. Chief Big Thunder. Gorgeous Gordon. He looks a little green. Rambo. Ram is Rambo on here right now? Atari Creeps saying Mr. Ugly. Judge Injury. Jack Hammer. Vic Vicious. Barf the Caveman. Look at this roster right now. Why did they even think this deep into it? What a roster. I think uh, Mr. Ugly is getting picked. Beach Bum Barney. I mean, with a name like that, I think we'll just go with it. So, Enter is what they're wanting from us, I think. Okay. So nostalgia is here. Welcome, Taylor, to the stream. You are the man with the master plan. TNL is back tonight, and hopefully we'll be back subsequent Tuesdays. Uh, we've been doing some streaming on the other side of the fence, too, because things just go smoother over there, and, you know, I can be more random with it. But, you know, my streams here on this side, you know, they have agendas. They're they're scheduled, they're part of a series, and that's why we do it weekly and not every day, because, you know, we have the uploads that we've got to get done, too, so. This is obviously in line with our Amico programming, the the looks we've taken to that. Again, we interviewed Tommy, we've got one of those on order, and I've just got the Intellivision bug. If you've been watching the show, you see that John Rogers is here. Welcome, JR. Great to see you back on the scene, my friend. This roster is amazing, but what's more, a game from this generation has a roster. Yeah, I mean, it could just be Wrestler A and Wrestler B. So now we got to pick the moves. We definitely want a pile driver. I don't know what a possum roll is. That's like redneck sushi or something. A headbutt does not sound bad. That'll be our fourth move. The rope sling, rainbow punch, a suplex, because who doesn't want a suplex? And done. Now, what's strange, this dynamic, is we have to pick the moves for our opponent. Eddie Glue is in the house. Welcome, Ed. Great to have you on the scene, my friend. It looks like he's already got a, a preset, so we're just going to go with the preset. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Here he goes. They're even making ring entrances. For 1982, this is pretty advanced, if that's when it was. I mean, I didn't catch a date on the title screen, but... Oh, this is going to be amazing. Well, you know, it's shimmy Christmas. This is going to be nuts. Look at this, though. That's pretty good graphics for 1982. That's, uh, that's, out, that's out there, man. Grr. Oh, I've already... Pain, he says. The word balloons. Oh, I gave him a pile driver of his own right there. <laughs> Body slam. They're 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 tangling it up. You are no longer showing up in my subscriptions feed. Well, it's good to know we're being taken care of. That's not surprising. You wouldn't believe the trouble we had just getting this started, Captain. 
I mean, the weirdest thing, we had to reset a stream key, pop the chat out and back in again. Everything just went to poop. I mean, it's just, it's always something. I don't know. They, they, they think this new YouTube studio is going to get a handle on everything. And it's like, what evidence do we have to support that theory? What is that fixing would be my question. You know, what is that fixing? We don't even know. It's just a new UI. It didn't solve the functionality. I'd put money on it. I would put money on it right now. My dude is like showing off and it's like I need him to really pay attention right now. I know he's happy about that pile driver, but we've got a ca He's out of the ring. He's out of the ring. We'll take this time to open up my sparkling water. <laughs> oh, he's going out of the ring again. Body slam. Come on right now. So if there's a pin, I don't know how to do it. We have the action buttons and maybe one of those pins. This one runs. And he can come off all four corners. That's really in depth. Again, for 1982, this is really something. And I'm guessing the numbers down there on either side of the clock are our health, because his seems to be going down significantly. And I don't know how they decide who gets the move off and who doesn't, but... Oof! I love the wording. A suplex. It's going to be all suplexes from here on out. Dude, quit flexing. Oh my God, did you see this move? Oh, I'm, I'm going up the turnbuckle on him here. What is this, Grush? I will say one thing for the Intellivision model. These controllers feel great. The buttons feel good. This is such an authentic mini. Like if there was going to be an Intellivision mini, like a true one, they'd be hard pressed to compete with this. I know at games gets a bad rap and I know I defend them a lot, but I defend them where it's due. You know, some of it's just unnecessary parroted, you know, discontent about products. People really aren't giving a fair shake. This is a nice little unit. It sells for as high as a hundred dollars at auction. If you were watching the vlog, you've seen that, I picked this thing up for about $15, I think it was, at a second in Charles in upstate North Carolina. And we found the ColecoVision one, too. So that was a great pickup there. And uh, we'll probably stream the Coleco one in the future, too. There's a lot of great picks on there, including but not limited to Gateways to AppShy. If any of you watch the show, and a lot of you do, you know that I'm a huge AppShy fan, huge Dungeon Quest fan. Dungeon Quest put role-playing on some kind of map not the same map that zelda put it on the map but definitely on a map as early as in the 1970s legit could have a blast now with a buddy drinking a play you could i mean it's totally playable and that's and i just got elbow dropped from the top row but that's what we look for in these games is any kind of playability at all a lot of vcs games were not i mean they were just not playable and if they were it wasn't in a, in a to a point that you would want to play a lot of it you know like Atari football was atrocious. Round over. Are we doing rounds? Is this like freaking AWA rules? What are we doing? Or AWF? AWF did that. They had they had rounds. Like I saw a 15 round match one time between Tito Santana and Cowboy Bob Orton. And it was brutal. I mean, we don't wrestle like that today. I know that there's good wrestling still today. Captain gets on me all the time for not still watching. I just can't keep up. But, man, I'll, I'll never forget that match. 15 rounds. It was a long fight. And they were bloody and sweaty. And they were just a mess. And, I get, I, okay, I know it's scripted. But they were still, they were, they were putting out the work, man. These guys were laying it down. I'm unclear about how to pin... And it looks like the left buttons do the same as the right buttons. One of them makes me run. And there's really no way to strike. I'm not punching and I'm not kicking. 
I mean, that's the thing is new games, you know, they're wherever you find them. This is new to me right now. You know, I've, I didn't have an Intellivision growing up. And I've gone through three Intellivision 1 models in my days of collecting because they have a CPU that is kind of spot welded into this metal enclosure. So in order to get to it and still probably end up doing work that's way above my pay grade, you'd have to break into that thing somehow. So I gave up. I quit buying them because they never, it was always just a black screen. I never could get a game going. And that's the commonly sung refrain that that's what's wrong with them. The CPUs in them burn up. I came across an Intellivision 2. Works like a champ. It runs like a scalded cat. I couldn't get him to come off the rope there. I don't know why. Maybe I needed an action button. We'll try that again. Yeah, my dude is really into some flexing. I'm hitting all the side buttons. I don't have an overlay for this, so I just, I don't know. It you know what? And th that was the thing is I was pretty sure this was a complete set, but for 15 bucks, who was going to argue there was a wad of uh, there was a wad of overlays in the box. So who was going to sit there and count them all? I mean, when else are you going to find something like this? Okay, so if we look here, and we will, my dude is not getting up, and dude's down to 12 health. I think if we just Oh, and he's actually, he's groggy. Can we get a knockout in this? It just says action key on those. And I guess they expect you to know because you set your own movesets. Oh, there's Nightbot. He's here. And Golden, Golden Mice and A Gamer Retro Style is in the house. So both of those things are pretty cool news. All right, so dude's down to one power, one health. Maybe you get them down to that and then you can pin them. Maybe it, I don't know, I'm trying to think as simply as the game probably is. And it's so nice that Nightbot would finally join us. I was afraid he wasn't going to. How's he getting a pile driver? He's freaking on fumes over here. Body slam. Trying to hit down, and he's just running. Well, I pinned something, but it wasn't him. All right, he's dead, right? It's over. My dude's just so happy about it, too. All right, so there's 17 seconds left. At some point, does this go to decision? Is this like UFC? There's no pins. We're just, we're duking it out. Why don't you shh? It would seem to me that there is a way to pin. Round over. Review moves. C. Okay, so you can hit clear and you look at your moves again. Also, you can change moves mid uh, mid range, but none of those are a pin. Look at this; he still hurt bad, so it's like they want you to wrap it up somehow. He is on the mat. What is this called? Body Slam Super Pro Wrestling. Got one of these in television flashbacks used last year. 30, I think. Yeah, that's a great price, man. That we were just talking about. This thing goes for upwards of a hundred bucks now. Especially in the condition that mine is. I hope yours is as nice, because this sucker is cherry. I mean, I don't even think they used it. Some of the overlays are missing, but the the controllers were still twist tied. Alright, I'm gonna give y'all some homework. And your homework starts now. <laughs> Google Body Slam Super Pro Wrestling and find out how to pin this idiot. Because I really want to win this match. But I also want to move on to the next game. Body Slam Super Pro Wrestling. I bought us some time. He can beat on my bones if he wants. But I want my pinfall. 
Atari creeps on it. Th this is what it's about, man. It's it's about getting it done. We're we're a team. Ending the match. Pinning your opponent. Stand over him and press enter. Oh, I never would have guessed that. But we're doing it now. Okay, quit flexing, dude. We got to pin him. Okay, he's pinned. He kicked out? There's no way he kicked out. He, you know, there's no way he kicked out, first of all. But second of all, I really like this game because it's so darn playable. And I I guess any wrestler can be any moveset. So it's like you decide who they really are, what kind of identities they have there. But Oh, but keep reading though, Atari Creep, because you may find some other tidbits of information, like why this guy keeps kicking out. He's done, right? He's got to be done. A brain buster. He was on the ropes. That's true on that one, but it seems like he's still got some fight left in him. Oh, that hurt. Ah, oh, he's done, right? That's it. One. Two. Two. Three. It's over. They're calling it. Get the oxygen on them. That was killer. Next game. Because we have boxing. And, it, you know, I want to say I... I want to say I have boxing? Yeah, I've got boxing. But I'll be darned if I even remember playing it now Tommy Tellerico is not here but you can bet that I'm going to be in touch with him about that wrestling that better be on the dadgum amigo or we riot that was cool why does enter go to the other page action button okay in television presents block sleeping this is going to be good here, too. I got a feeling. Choose men. He just choose some men. I'll take that one. I gotta choose my men. Choose my men. Okay, so one is a blue guy. Two is a red guy. Three is a peach colored guy. Green guy. Really green guy. Yeah, B-17 Bomber. It's on here. Uh, we're going to go with the... We're going to go with this guy. Enter. And I guess we have to do one over here too. Oh, enter is a punch. I could have got out my overlay for this. What am I thinking? So we got these great overlays here. He can wail on me for a minute there. I don't mind. We got to learn how to play again. Did I not get one for boxing either? Okay, well. Faint, pull, punch, faint. And then the lower controls are... Wow, okay. All right, well, let's get on it. It's the lower buttons. Body blow. The dude kicking out is random. If you're pinned, you can smash the disc rapidly to kick out. <laughs> Big sweaty man. Oh, look at this. Waraka, Waruka. Trying to mix it up here. Waduka. 
Oh, he's hating it. He's hating it. If I'm hitting him, I sure don't know about it. Um, I'm assuming that I'm scoring points over here. Yeah. Wasn't even sure I was hitting him. How is the game sound? Do you guys want some more game sound? I kind of do. I'm going to give myself some. There we go. All right, I'm the winner. Jake says, more sound. Sure. This game is a bit rough. Yeah, it is. A little rough around the edges. But still, I I definitely have seen worse. But yeah, not as cool as the wrestling one. That was pretty cool. We barely hear the game sound, so sure. Okay. Okay, can we start another round, or do we just reset the game? I mean, was that, was that all it was? One fight, and it's over? That wasn't very exciting. But it was okay. I've seen one. Let's see what Brickout's all about. 1981. Brickout. Which is obviously, we knew what this was going to be, but I'm kind of a sucker for this. So, what is the control here? Because I didn't get an overlay for this either. Launch the ball. Okay, well, that's pretty simple. It's nice and slow. Oh, yeah, I love me some Breakout, Alleyway, Arkanoid, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Arkanoid Revenge of Doe on the Commodore 64. Just a few of the things I cut my teeth on as a young lad. And I don't know how I let that happen. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay. That actually had a nice arc on it. This is almost so slow, it's too slow. I'm trying to gauge where it's finally going to come down. Oh, that was close. You know, after the troubles we had with the links for this stream earlier, and still obviously having, and it must have been, it, it had to be related to the bad stream key. And why they go bad, I don't know. They don't go bad anywhere else but YouTube that I've ever had. But it'll be interesting to see once this stream is over and processes, can we send links to this? Can we do it in case you missed it? Because I can guarantee you some people missed it. Okay, uh, the ball just completely went up through other bricks, and I'm not really sure how it did that. But, works for me. It, it literally cannot come back down. And here comes the, oh, well now we're getting some more coming down on us. Now, I guess that what we saw coming left to right in that uh, gameplay for the Intellivision, maybe they're reimagining of this. Are they going to call it Breakout? Can they call it Breakout? I don't know. Breakout without the history, yeah. I don't know. A lot of uncertainties with the Amico as far as... I mean, it's got potential through the roof. I mean, that, that part is certain. But the uncertainty lies in what are they going to do with all that? 
my YouTube stream seem to go into hiding more times than not. Well, you know, this is probably the second or third time I've ever had the key go bad. But usually when that happens, when you'll start a stream, you just won't be streaming. But the link will still take you to the placeholder. Well, I wasn't even doing that today, so... I was talking to T-Belly earlier, because, man, he, he streams so much, and... And uh, Captain Algebra too. Those guys that just stream all the time. It's like God. If there's a problem, these guys have had it, right? But um, God, yeah, it seems like I have an issue every time we try to do something on here. And he was like, "Yeah, just you know, reset your keys and all that." And I actually did that twice this time. We did it live here, and that's how we got this thing going. So just weird, man. Just really weird. I mean, I like to have my troubles troubleshot before we go live, ideally, but from what we could tell on our end, it was all good to go, and there was just nothing else to say. We had already crossed the T's and dotted the I's. So this is like lowering the top, and this is where the challenge comes in, because now, I see now why the ball goes slow. If it didn't, you'd be up Poop Creek, and then you want to get this in here. And there's still, I, I'm still clicking this link and it goes to a dead thing where I'm not streaming. But your chat is in there. So I guess we're streaming to YouTube when this processes. We'll see where it comes back out. I don't know, man. I, if, if you want my honest opinion from a tech standpoint, they cannot get rid of the classic YouTube legacy classic studio yet. I couldn't even schedule a stream in the new studio. Couldn't even get it to work. I can't even do uploads through it. It just doesn't work. It always times out or throws an error code. Oh, something went wrong. Well, that's helpful. I'm just a big advocate for, you know, if it ain't broke, please don't try to fix it. And you can argue that it was broke. It was never perfect, but it was functional. We get to a point where it's like, okay, well... It has some issues, but we know what to do with it. But then you go and change everything again and not really knowing what you were fixing, if anything. Then you just create more gray areas. You create more stuff you have to troubleshoot. And then they don't. We end up doing it. Okay, so 13. That, that number's going down. Is that how many balls I have? That is bizarre. And on a bank shot on a corner, it actually goes through the squares. But yeah, that's how many balls we have. This is cool, though, because, I mean, you, you, your, your game's not over that fast. From a couch co-op standpoint, that might be a little vexing if you're playing with somebody that's really good, but you could really go for some serious high scores here with a lot of variation in the games that you end up having with this. How much you could feasibly do with that many lives or balls, as it were. Oh, not at the rate I'm going, but... And then they just keep it scrolling down until you... And that creates the difficulty in that this lower level, if you don't have it cleared out... By the time it scrolls down, you create a, a hazard for yourself. So this is kind of like a breakout and space invaders dynamic all rolled into one. This game I have not played before. And if there is physical copies of it, I don't have it. And I've got a somewhat robust Intellivision collection. And that is only going to increase because we've already got some other things secured that have not arrived via the mail yet. And there will be more on that in the not-too-distant future. Some some of these things, uh, Big John at Gen X Grown Up has secured for us and is traveling abroad. John Rogers says, I like this version. I need to play it. Man, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to like here. I definitely don't hate this. It's something different. 
There's so many variants of this program anyway. Like that, how did it hit that? Oh. This is one of those games that you could really just marathon and see how high of a score you could get over time. But I mean, that was that was every game back then. We've gotten so far away from that now. Oh, I beat the game. The campaign was four hours. I lost 60 bucks. I'm never going to play it again. I mean, my goodness. And then we just get into these games now that are just absolute time vampires, and they're wonderful, but scores have so little to do with it. My whole household is playing Animal Crossing right now. We're loving it. But it's a game that doesn't end. I'm still going back to the old Animal Crossing and seeing stuff that my daughter made on her town when she was, you know, still wearing pull-ups. And she's 12 now, so it's like, my God, where does the time go? But Animal Crossing just perseveres forever. We got Last of Us coming soon. I hope that Gods and Monsters game is still going to come out on schedule because that looked great. Uh, just a lot of stuff on the radar this year, and I said there wasn't going to be. And there's not, you know, I'm, I'm buying less games this year. I really am because there's just I've got so much content to produce and so much stuff going on just with the games we have here. You can blame me, Dan, but I tell you, you're going to be happier in the long run with that than you would have been without it. I mean, Animal Crossing is just so great. That's all anybody in the house here is talking about is what their animals are doing, what tarantulas they caught, what kind of fish is going on in their place, what kind of fruit they got on whose island, and mm. there goes my points. You earn yourself a little break. The Woodburyans here. See, this is what I love. I love seeing the old crew in here, man. All y'all guys are just great. We have so much fun in here. To answer your question, Wood, it's going pretty good. We're just kind of staying local here at the house as ordered and not going anywhere. But that just means we get to play more games. And that's not a bad side effect, I guess. But we want to bring TNL back. And we, you know, it never really went away. We're just not doing it every week because I've been working so hard getting uploads up. And to be fair, there's so much of that content to be done that... I need every waking hour I've got to work on it, but the streams are fun too, and you know I stream with purpose. I've always got something tying into a series that we're doing, or a new release when I do, so I don't want to say it has to be a special occasion to stream, but it usually is just the way I schedule things. There's usually something I'm needing to show you that week, and this week... It was this, and this was long overdue. Again, I've had people comment since I scored this on that video and say, hey, you need to stream that. And I was like, yeah, I mean, that was that was actually always the plan. Just a matter of when we can get to it. But hey, uh, fast forward to today. We got to it. The only thing I wish is that it wasn't in yeah, real time. And I think they've eliminated the time traveling people used to do on their systems. And that's good. I don't, I don't agree with that. I've never agreed with that. You either check in every day or time goes on without you. And that's the beauty of it. That's what's so cool about it. You come back to a weed infested spider crawl village with animals that have moved away and left you notes that they're sorry they missed you. And it's like, Man, it's just, it, it moves on without you. It's infinite. It's so cool. I found animals in my new leaf town after not playing for years. And they were from my daughter's island. Again, when she was little. And they were saying things and catchphrases to me that she had given them when she was that little. And words that were misspelled. And, you know, it, it, it's sweet. It's like, it's like a time capsule in that sense. So, I have special memories of, with, and from the franchise even though i wasn't a founding member i wasn't on gamecube you know playing it back then but 
you know, I was ready for a 3DS when New Leaf come out, and then they said there was going to be a New Leaf 3DS, and I was like, well, that's the one. Back when they actually came with the game that they were, you know, Nintendo stopped doing that. Releasing the systems ahead of time, and then the game isn't included, and it's like, oh. I mean, I realize you have to get it digitally, but it's like, who cares? I think you, your player, too, made that comment, too, that if there was ever a game he didn't mind having digitally, it was that Animal Crossing, because you're going to check in on it every day. But you may be playing other games, too, so it's nice to just have it in the form of an application and have another cartridge in the hole for the game that you're currently playing, but you're not just checking in with daily, something you're actually grinding on. And that's a really good point. We're running out of balls. Yeah, getting it digitally, I support that. That's that's a good move. First time that I buy a full price digital game. I'm not going to say it's never happened. I mean, I have done it. If there was no physical, you know. And I've actually bought it when there was a physical. Some games you just don't mind having that way. We are up over a thousand points. My ball is going through the bricks. Oh, one last ball. I'm not ready to see another game. I wasn't expecting this to have so many balls. More balls than a barrel full of elephant scrotums. Game over. Rating very good. They even give you a rating. I'm glad we stuck around for that because for the record, y'all just need to know that I'm very good. <laughs> Deep Pockets Pool. There's a pocket pool game. There's no way we're playing that, right? Crown of Kings. Okay, so for once, we're going to put an insert in to the into the handle here. Okay, we're going to play Crown of Kings the way God intended us to play it. Alright, let's see what this is all about. Intel Vision presents Crown of Kings. 1982. They don't, so it's not like you were ever going to get a break on that game. Count arrows. Do I? Sh is this a shooter? Do I shoot arrows? Okay. Okay, so I'm a blinking light on the screen. What in the world? Okay, this is kind of like the D&D &D games then. Got him. Look at this, though. Is that a... Okay, so we want to pick that up. Right? It's not letting me pick that up. I would think those are more arrows, wouldn't you? Look at this dungeon, though. I mean, I know it's a forest, but in the sense, it's a procedural dungeon. Waduga! I just shot myself with an arrow. I didn't know if he had to kill that thing or not. Am I dead? I'm blue, so am I hurt? Can I pick up this head? I can't pick up this head. Okay. Oh, here comes something that ain't playing. I can tell you right now, that thing ain't playing. Shoo! Oh. I want my revenge against that thing. It's quick, though.
Boy, you gotta be ready. Oh, come on, shoot. I don't think I have any... I don't think I have any arrows. Count arrows. There's a button here to count arrows. I mean, were those not arrows right there? Can I get those? Pick them up. Okay. Now, did I get them? I'm so confused. You know, if this was the only game you were getting all year from your grandma, you would sit there until you figured this out. Whether or not this makes for a fun stream, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so let's just walk for now. Let's explore. I mean, it's literally the little running man with a bow and arrow right now. So here's a quiver. We can pick the quiver. Okay. That, so we need the quiver to get the arrows, right? Now, do we have arrows? I don't want to get into something and find out the hard way that we don't. I'm going to find the golden frog head. I want to take the golden frog head. Golden frog head. No! Golden frog head. Oh, he shot. He shot. Did you hear him shoot? And then I hit myself again. Okay, so those were arrows. Okay, now, let's talk about why this is cool. Okay, because this is. First of all, it's playable. Okay? Maybe barely right now, but it's playable. We can move a guy. We can shoot a projectile. There's a tactical map. These are some elements that there's a lot of games you're just not going to get that on. Now, we have a blue and we have a red coloring. on those and I guess I don't know maybe we're stuck I'm not ready to say goodbye to that win I don't I don't mean I don't know how to fix this but we'll go back in it wouldn't let me get out of that but I'm intrigued by this because this is this is so Dungeons and Dragon-ish man it's it, it reminds me of the way those games look it reminds me of the way Gateway to Apshai looks it's one of those games I wonder if Brian's Man Cave has played this game he plays some really obscure stuff on these old consoles. I wonder if he's ever messed around with this. And the maps are procedurally generated, if I'm not mistaken. That is not the same map we saw. That one's purple. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, goodness. Okay. Badoosh! Okay, no, that did not hurt him. Neither of those did. Oh, my God! Oh, God! Okay, so my arrows did not hurt the bird. My arrows did not hurt the jelly. Now I don't have any arrows. I'm bit. I think it goes blue, red, dead. Is that what just happened? Blue, red, dead. Maybe that's my gravestone. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm dead. Maybe that's all there is to that. Still not satisfied. There's a cool game in here, and I want to see what it is. This is what's so weird. We throw in Atari Classics. It's like, oh, it's that game. And you just, you know what to do. And there's one button. This is a keypad with four buttons on your sides. So... I mean, what? Purple? No, we're not going purple yet. So, the black must be the areas that you can go. Because the lighter green colors, you cannot. And I don't know what the difference is, but if we had a manual... I want a physical copy of this. Look at Jake Wheelie coming in here. Blue, red, dead. Sounds like... <laughs> yeah, I mean... What, what do you make of that? Uh, that's so weird. 
I instantly want a physical copy of this game with a manual. These are the kind of games that I want in my collection to play on the original hardware. It's great that we can stream them via, I hate that, this unit. But <clears throat> yeah, I would love to see that. Now, is purple more common and it's easier and the blue is the hard one? We're going in. arrows I don't think we can pick those up but I think you have the quiver and that's where the arrows were it doesn't make sense why those are there oh crap oh god that's like an ant-man or something and you know I know about ant-man yeah come on down here you think you got some come on whoa I was kidding I was kidding I was kidding I was kidding Top spots here. Top spot 123. The man with the master plan. Always great to have you hanging out, dude. It's nostalgia's back. Hey, you're in time to see me suck at Crown of Kings. Now we go in, right? Or can we not go in? Where did my dude go? See, this doesn't make any sense. You get to this part and it's just not doing anything. Humor me. I got to try one more time. All right. All right. We'll go in here. It's like some crazy monster's intestines. I have this flashback. Haven't opened it. Well, aren't you in for a treat? I never had an Intellivision, actually. Looking forward to the Amiga. See, we're in the same predicament. I only had one in the 90s when I was collecting and came across one finally. And even then, I couldn't play it because it was dead. I acquired an Intellivision 2 and only recently got it up and running and we're making up for lost time. And we're enjoying hits that we obviously know that were on, you know, that were multi-plats back then. But all these other ones are new to it, man. Night Stalker we're going to look at in just a minute. And that's one of the ones touted as a reimagining. We've already seen what it looks like. Is this thing not an enemy? Because it's not hurting me. It seems like we killed one earlier, though. All right, we killed it, but that thing killed us. And it seems like once you have one good little uh, altercation, you don't have arrows anymore. Then we found that quiver... And then that gave us arrows, but finding arrows didn't do any good. And oh my God, a big ogre just ate us. I was a ColecoVision kid. Me too. Me too. That, that's what I played out of these two. I mean, we played a lot of Atari 5200 and my ST and stuff too. But my neighbor, who I spent every waking hour with, because we were both gaming junkies, he had the uh, Blue Red Dead. He had the ColecoVision and we wore that sucker out. All right, moving on. That's cool. There's just part of it that we're obviously not getting, so. Night Stalker. Oh, God, I was about to say, is it not on here? Night Stalker. Here we go. He comes out. He gets the gun. Oh, I wasted a shot. Got him. Oh, 
Well, that thing's having a hissy fit. A gun. Alright, it's about to get ugly in here. Moronka. Too bad the flashback couldn't have had some of the license games. I know it. And while I was reading that, something killed me. <laughs> oh, come on, move, dude. Oh, I think he got me. He got me. I know there's an object to Night Stalker, but God help me, I can't remember what it is. But the reimagining just looked so great, and I was like, man, this really captures... I mean, it's, it stays true to form, and that's the most important thing here. We want these imaginings to do that. Any games need a controller overlay yet? I'm so glad you asked. This one does, and we were playing uh, Crown of Kings with one. Why don't we have the one on for this one? I mean, we got one, didn't we? I guess you wouldn't know because you're not here. And, you know, even if it didn't come with that, I've got a mint condition Night Stalker, the original, over here. And we're supposed to be making up for lost time on all these systems. Or all these games for this system. Alright, so we've got it. And I'm dead. I bought the bonus overlays they offered when this was new. So they had bonus overlays. Is that so? Maybe I have a full set, and just the ones that are missing were the bonus overlays. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to DM me which ones were the bonus ones. There's just a couple of them, so because it seems like maybe there was a few missing out of this, and that's fine. But maybe it was complete, and I just I don't really know that it is. That's very interesting. Game over. We can do better than that, I'm sure. Jeff Bailey is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. What you gonna do? Great to have you in the house, JB. Seen some great faces in here tonight. I gotta tell you what, you guys are the best coming out. You really are. So that's a triple shot. Or something, because we don't have it, you know. So, I don't get it. What, there's three dots, two dots, and one dot. But any of the directions, the you know, are to fire the gun. Except when you really need it to. God, this overlay almost hurts more than it helps. Now, what was the significance of the spider web? I'm a night stalker noob. But, you know, it was like I told Tommy, like, these are the ones we want to see. I mean, these are the games that are synonymous. Look at that opened up a thing up there. Or did it? Or that was just my score because I'm dead. 
these are synonymous with the Intellivision branding. So to get these to be games on the, because I don't want to see this system just become filled with shovelware and it's just a you know a WiiWare console. It's nice that some of that's going to be on there, and I don't want to speak ill of. I mean, honestly, the game with the little bean bags. That looks fun. That looks like a WiiWare game. That looks like something I'd have played with Molly when she was little. But uh, we want to see these reimaginings most of all. And we want to see Intellivision get its branding on point. Because it's already weak in that department anyway. And no one will deny that. That Atari was king. So it needs to play to its branded strengths. And... Can you shoot with the action buttons? That would be so much better. I always thought that game had cool graphics. Man, you should have seen the wrestling one we played at the beginning. I urge you to go back and look at the recap when uh, this is over. That wrestling game was nasty. And I'm sitting here getting owned by a bat. So no, you have to shoot with the... I'm taking this thing out. Because I'm not getting the buttons pressed. Now you're going down. Oh no. That thing just goes crazy when he's up there. I guess you don't want to be up there when the spiders come in. I need to go back and get the gun. I'm obviously not going to do that. I'm getting night stalked over here. Oh, come on. Go in there, would you? I love how little gears and pieces fly off of him. Get up there, you turkey. All right, we're out of bullets. We got to go get the gun. Ooh, and I don't know. We'll run up the gut here and try to get it. Oh, he's on rapid fire. We almost dodged. Well... Clearly, I am not great at Night Stalker. We do want to take a little look at Astro Smash, just because. <clears throat> just because. It's here. Astro Smash. Another staple, which another one we know we're getting on Amico. And another one whose reimagining looks really cool, but can also be said it looks akin to a mobile game. And I hope that it's got the depth and uh, is immersive in that it evokes the feelings of the original in what it does. And it doesn't really go too far outside the lines. That's a tough rope to walk, too. <clears throat> Best game on the system, in my humble opinion. Yeah, I mean, it, again, that's a staple. And you can argue that it's a multi-plat because Astro Blast was on Atari. And it's pretty much the same deal. But it's more synonymous with the Intellivision brand. And it's definitely, you know, this and Night Stalker, at least for what we know right now, are going to be some of the flagship titles. But the Moon Patrol game looks great. And I'm interested to play that, too. But again, you hope these things really take on a life of their own and don't just end up feeling like mobile games. And I make it sound like such a bad thing. There was a mobile Galaga that released not that long ago that was totally decent. And, you know, it was fun and you could play it against other people and there were online leaderboards. And I hope that we have that on Amico because when we're playing top scores and stuff, 
in what I assume is going to be a very even playing field. I hope that we will have that to enjoy on these games. These games where scoring is king. Um, but yeah, I just don't want the games to go too wackadoo and lose the... You want them to have a little more depth as a reimagining, but not go so far-fetched that it's like, ah, oh, this doesn't even feel reminiscent of the original you know and some i'm trying to think of an instance where that's happened where the new version of a game comes out and it's like Ugh. well i can tell you one we're about to get is final fantasy 7 remake unpopular gaming opinion i don't care how cool the demo is i haven't even touched it yet i'll get around to it maybe it'll change my mind and experts believe that it will but that's not turn-based role-playing in the true sense we've gotten so far away from that being something that anyone thinks is marketable they want to make games all hack and slash and it's like give me a break my dude i want this to turn into a tales game this is not mm -mm, no no Ooh. i'm gonna have to break my television flashback out never how many people are right now show of hands in this chat have these and have never opened them <laughs> that's awesome if you have it, the you know the world is yours because again these things are selling for upwards of a hundred bucks in good condition, boxed, and the Coleco ones too, and definitely no less than sixty dollars. So you hope you are already someone that owns this and not somebody that wants to get it after the fact. But you also hope that if you pre-ordered an Amico, that the original versions of all these games are going to come tethered to their reimaginings once they're digitally purchased on that console for play and that it's going to, you know, supersede, go above and beyond what this unit's even available to do. Obviously, it's geared to do more and it's got some pretty cutting edge stuff, motion controllers, touch screens on the pads, a lot of reasons, I think, to be very intrigued you know if you don't want to get excited about it just yet if you still want to be skeptical because i know a lot of people are i mean i believe in it because tommy's selling it hard and he's just got such a great attitude and just a a delivery about him i mean he could sell he could probably sell me a a turd popsicle but yeah it just seems like we're getting something that is going to be you know the naysayers are going to look back and say well ah, I guess that was going to be pretty cool. And hopefully they'll have their chance to get one, you know. He is, man. I mean, he's he's so into it. And it's like, I mean, I, I've been a salesman all my life, too. And I can tell you that the you can sell anything. You can sell that turd popsicle in the winter if you believe in the product. But that doesn't necessarily mean the product's great. But I think in this instance, though, it really is. But the burden of proof is on him. You know, there's still so much that it has to live up to. We have the Atari VCS that should be the strong, you know. They shouldn't be the underdog in this, uh, in this, I don't know, it's almost a subgenre of consoles coming out. Because this is obviously not PS5, Xbox 2 material we're looking at. But, yeah, with all the stink surrounding them and their PR or lack thereof... I mean, Dad Dern. And television's the front runner when it's nowhere near the more popular console out of the two. There was a reimagined Zaxxon a while back for Android, and it looked neat, but the play was nothing. Yeah, I can't play a lot of games on mobile, and I try, but it's either their ad-laden messes or a D-pad on screen. Just, uh, just no. I can't do it. I mean, there's been a lot of Sega games released. Golvelius Valley of Doom was put on there. A wonderful RPG that some say is akin to Zelda. I think it went above and beyond Zelda, but, you know, that's another unpopular gaming opinion. Uh, some classic compile software. But, yeah, gamepad on the screen. I need to see the screen. You know, I need to... It, it was taking away from what I needed it to be and it just wasn't there guys I'm going to tell you uh, while we can still keep going here because we've got a lot of ships built up and I know that's the name of the game we're just about out of time for this stream and again to all of you that stuck with me in the beginning through the technical difficulties I appreciate that because we still ended up having a pretty good one here and next week we shouldn't have those troubles I hope 
We may have some completely new ones, but we won't have those. And, uh, yeah, we need to do more TNL over here. There's just... We're so backed up on them anyway. We've got topics to stream for at least the next few weeks. So... There's still a lot coming your way. And there, and there will be. Still lots of things that we need to stream. A lot of things that are related to uh, other series that we have going here on the show including but not limited to is this still online and some of these other uh, plug and plays like i said we got the coleco vision one too and you know we also could stand to look back at the ones that we modded recently do new mods to those and play the things that we add to them definitely stay safe and healthy everyone keep it on the low man hang out where you are stay in man if you can and if you can't figure out the safest way to go about what it is you got to do because I can tell you we're on week three if not going anywhere right now and yeah we're, we're gonna we're gonna stay as long as it takes and, and you know we got to stay healthy we got a lot of gaming ahead of us a lot of great stuff coming our, our way a lot of great stuff to do where is Golvelius being ported to it there was a mobile version uh, I've got Fantasy Star 2 and Golvelius was available on mobiles in the in the iTunes shop so or the App Store D-pads on the screen, which is kind of weird, but I mean, if that's your only way to play Golvelius, I guess that's definitely better than nothing because it's such a great game. But, you know, you also have the odds, you know, the odds are we can throw it on one of these flashbacks and I need to get with John and do an episode on Master System Editions. There is no system I love more and Golvelius would definitely be amongst that ROM set and would be a fantastic one to look at live. I think we've streamed it live before, but not a lot of folks showed up, but Oh, Golvelius Valley of Doom. Again, early compile uh, game. Fantastic soundtrack. Fantastic artwork. Fantastic colors. Just a beautiful game. I'll always love that one. And I'll always, I think, love it a little more than... Z I mean, one of the, you see these people on social media, one has to go. I'd have a hard time keeping Zelda and not it. That's how much I love Golvelius. I love Zelda as much as the next guy, but maybe not as much as the next guy because I put Golvelius over a lot of games regardless of whether or not they were trying to emulate what Zelda did. So yeah, stay safe, everyone. Thanks so much for coming out. And I'm going to plan to see you guys again next Tuesday. Same bat time, same bat channel. So plan to be there and we will see you then.